Hello. So I'm not able to make it to class um, this Tuesday, but I was wanting to give you the opportunity to see what I'm looking for when it comes to the final project. Our class is the career decision making. So I do, I am looking for something that touches on how you are deciding on your career. What are you thinking about? What is your major? What does it look like? How that journey has been in this semester? Any of the skills that you've learned that you wanna to apply towards your career or in general? Those are the main things that I am looking for. I did an example on if I was to do it based on mine, I narrowed it down to some of the few things that I did that I liked from the different classes. And then I'm gonna time myself to make sure I don't go past five minutes. So hi, I am Dr. Nika Marsh. Um, this is my final project on career decision-making. The main things that when I think of a career decision-making, I know I wanna start with my why. I need to get to know myself. So I wanted to look at um, an assessment to see how I did well, on that. I wanna explore different career options. I want to make sure I take action and develop some skills. So those are the things that I wanted to focus on in this class. For the things that I am going to talk about, it would be my assessment from the RIA SEC, which is that Holland Code, some in-demand skills, the five seeds of credit, effective in communication, and then just that career mindset. Um, for my assessment from the Holland Code, I got that social was 62.5%. My top five category was education and training, which I kind of have always been doing. So it made sense to me. For my top one, it was that social, which are helpers. And then their key motivators are, are helping others. They're kind, generous, friendly, idealistic. They like to work in teams and groups talking about ideas and conflicts, informing, training, developing. So it made sense because I wanted to be a counselor or at least teach since college or even before college and high school. So it, it coincided with what I was thinking. For the in-demand and resilient skills, um, I really liked that lesson because I definitely feel like I am have an entrepreneur mindset. I don't, I always have that growth mindset wanting and being resilient because you just never know what can happen and always wanting to problem solve and be optimistic and then recognize uh, my own emotions because you know when I'm going through it I I need to be able to still show up to work and be good um, or you know constantly still want to be challenged I want to be in a job where I am constantly growing and being challenged and is not boring to me the lesson on the five C's of credit was, uh, I love money management stuff. I'm always looking for ways to make more money or to do better with the money that I do make. Uh, one thing I learned from the lesson was to pay off the credit card debt at the end of the month and that there was two different types of ways uh, that, you that you have to keep track of. It's like your billing date and then the date that's being reported to the, the financial department financial department so those were I didn't realize you had to pay attention to both so it's more strategy that goes into account uh when it comes to that so I thought that was a pretty important lesson to know um effective communication is always a really good one I have learned that I took the assessment that I am an expressive communicator so a lot of times I'm going to talk with my hands I'm going to be very extra when I speak um and I can go off in many directions so I've learned that I need to be able to pivot when speaking to different different people who don't actually have my style. So for example, someone who's a driver, they're going to speak very straight to the point. So if I'm over here talking and talking and talking, they're, I'm going to lose them. So I need to make sure that I can get to the point sometimes, even if I do like to go off and be very enthusiastic when I'm speaking. For my career path, um, I wrote about doing being a personal development college professor because that was what my goal has been for the last few years. Um, and so really being able to figure out how to get to that path, I had to like really look back at what where I started to now because being able, when you're doing your interviews and resumes, you had to talk about the experiences that got you to where or why they should hire you. So back to when I got my bachelor's in sociology, there's a lot of lessons that inspired me to really want to stay in this field. And then building different experiences. I know I had to get my master's because it's you can't get hired without your master's. And then 
just from there, I kept wanting to grow. So I ended up getting my doctorate and then just teaching. I learned how to start teaching more college ready topics so that I am able to become a professor. So that's my career project.